Today, I'm going to be going over some of the terminology that I use when talking about SEO. So let's get right to it. Hello everyone, my name is Zach from Yaz. And yes, we are going to talk about some SEO terms. The first, of course, I don't know why I said of course. The first SEO term that I wanna go over is um, I've heard it called a few different things, H headers, your H tags, H1 headers. Um, these are the different HTML codes that you can use to distinguish what sort of heading that you're using. So if you have a, uh, some text between an H1 heading, that tells, um, that tells crawlers like Google that that's supposed to be your main heading. Um, you'll, you'll also see that there are like H2, H3, and as those numbers go up, their importance goes down. So if you look at a regular website, you won't be able to see from looking at the front end which header is which, but you'll generally only see one H1 header, which will be your main one. Um, you'll see more H2 headers, which will generally be your different categories. And then as you go down, those kind of are saved for subcategories. Now in SEO, these are very important because again, Google's crawlers, which is like a little software program that reads all of your pages, they are looking for these types of codes to flag. This is important for you to look at. So that's what they look at to decide what a section or even a page is about. The second is your meta title. Now this is one of the ones that when I talk to my clients about it, it sounds like it's very technical, very programmy, and it really isn't. Um, for some websites, finding out where to set your meta title can be tricky to find, but in most cases, all you really need to know about your meta title is that it can be found in two places. One, if you go to the very top of your browser and look at the tabs, hover over a tab and it'll actually kind of pop out. I'll have an image here that shows you what the meta title is. Um, also, when you search something on Google, when you look at a listing, the, the main title is also what has been set as a meta title. These are again very important for Google to read because it'll tell them that there is relevant content on this website or on this page to the keywords that you've included in your meta title. So if you are a plumber and you want to be found in Calgary, then you should have Plumber Calgary or Calgary Plumber somewhere in that meta title. Um, and I mean also in the last category, your H1 header should include those keywords. And in the next one, which is number three, your meta description. Um, meta description is very similar, I would say, to meta title. You generally set it in the same place that you would set your meta title, but it does give you more room because they are longer. So um, heading back out to that uh, Google listing that has the meta title as the title, right below that, the text that's not linked, usually like two or three lines, that's your meta description, and Google will read that and look for keywords just the same way that they read the meta title. Moving quickly along, number four is anchor links. Now anchor links can often, again, seem more daunting than they are, and I do find them a little bit difficult to explain sometimes, but basically when you think about it, in your website, if you have a link that goes from one of your interior pages out to your home page, um, and the linked text itself is your keyword, that tells Google that when you click that keyword, that you're to be taken to your home page, which again says that your home page is the important destination for that keyword. Um, and so with uh, like SEO audits that we do for clients, it is recommended to have your keywords in your interior pages a few times linked nicely back to your homepage. Next up at number five, we've got backlinks. Backlinks are something that you're going to hear if you're watching uh, SEO videos like this or reading articles over and over and over again. Put most simply, a backlink is a link from any website that is not yours that leads to yours. So think quickly about a big website like Forbes. They publish tons of articles all the time that people like to read, people like to quote them, people like to share them on social media. Every time you are engaging with somebody's article or their website or their pages in this way, um, it's creating backlinks. And so what Google likes these for is that every time you are linking to say the same Forbes article, you're showing Google that you trust this article enough that you've referenced it. So the more a page is referenced by other pages, the, the more they look important and trustworthy to Google. One other reason that backlinks are important is because the longer a website is around, 
um, whether or not you make share worthy articles, it just kind of so happens that you do collect backlinks over time. I've seen this on many older websites that have high rankings on Google without ever having to do anything with SEO. Um, the reason I believe this is, and this is just kind of my personal, I guess, opinion and thoughts. I don't know if Google has released anything official on this. Um, when you have these lots of backlinks, it, it makes your website look a little more trustworthy. So Google doesn't want to put a brand new website right at the top of the list because the chances of a brand new website, um, like a business closing or disappearing, something like that, is quite a bit higher with a brand new website than one that's been there for years and it's a, you know, it's a long kind of trusted business model. Um, again, that's kind of just my guess, but it just again goes to show the importance of what it makes your website look like to Google when you have a great number of backlinks. And finally, last but not least, at number six, I've got bounce rate. So um, backing up, I guess, a step. When it comes to things about SEO, Google is a lot more interested in how users are experiencing your website rather than whether or not you have all of these like backlinks and stuff built up. Because you can have the most backlinks in the world, but if people are getting to your website and not having a good experience and backing right out of that, that tells Google that your website is not a good solution for the keyword that you say it is. So as an example, if I ran a tire store and I was trying to target the keyword for ice cream, um, if Google put me at the top of their list and it would say like best ice cream in town and people started clicking on that, ended up on my website where I'm selling them tires, they're obviously not going to stay and look around my website very long. So they're going to get right out of there, which is a very important trigger to Google that your website is not a good solution. Always remember at the end of the day, Google wants to make Google look good. So if you are making them out to be a liar by sending people to a website that's not relevant to the keyword, they're going to penalize you for it. So bounce rate back to that is, it's measured by people who get to your website and then leave by clicking the back button or typing in a new address before they interact with anything. So that's before they go to a new page, before they watch a video, before they click any buttons, they're getting there, they're seeing that your homepage is not what they think you're supposed to be, and then they're leaving. Um, again, the higher that this is, the more it looks to Google like you are not the answer for the keyword that you're saying. So kind of above all of the SEO practices, make sure that what you're saying your website is about is actually what it's about. Make sure that your user experience is first and very important to you because they do, at the end of the day, decide what happens to your website. So that's all the terms that I've got for you today. Hopefully you learn something new. Hopefully next time somebody talks to you about SEO, you have you know, that slight extra bit of understanding. Uh, Google basically decides at this point, in some regards, what businesses succeed and which ones fail. Uh, and you know, kind of state of the internet sort of thing. You wanna make sure that you are putting your best foot forward everywhere. So if you like this, please consider giving us a like, commenting, asking me questions, or subscribe to our channel. Um, also feel free to send me any other specific questions, topics you'd like me to talk about. Even just email or call me if you have questions about your own SEO. Um, I am always open to talking about this. So I hope you enjoyed and have yourselves a great evening. Bye-bye.